Hi guys, welcome to Team Technique. Woo! Um, as in previous videos, I've uh, lost the majority of my marbles. Anyways, welcome to class. Um, today, well, let's see what we're doing today. Marcel, um, today you guys have a plank series with Katherine Morgan that's from CLI Studios. It's pretty difficult. Um, I did it and it was really difficult for me to talk through while I was doing it. Honestly, um, I put the video in here. I love the way she explains things. She has two assistants who are there and offer some <laughs> modifications on things. If things are a little bit too difficult or feel like you can't hold the position, she offers some different um, placement to make things a little bit simpler so you can get through. She talks a lot about not sacrificing your technique and your placement just to hold a pose. Because if you're holding, for example, a plank incorrectly, it's doing more damage than it's doing good. So you have that, and then you have a strength and, did I say Catherine Morgan? No, that's not Catherine Morgan. The um, plank series is Catherine McCormick, sorry. And at the end, after we stretch, we're gonna do a flexibility routine that's by Katherine Morgan, who I love. I know I've sent some of you her videos to work on at home before. She uh, is an ex-ballerina, used to be a baller, uh, per performing professional ballerina um, in New York, and now she is an educator. So she gives tools for teachers to use in class and for students, um, all available online. So I've picked some exercises that I really like from her, and I'm putting in her flexibility routine here. I think it's fantastic. Um, it's just a whole number of stretches that will get you fully warm, really get deep into your muscles. Um, now I'm blabbing on. So enjoy those things. It's a little bit of a longer class today, but I think that's it. I'm not gonna do an outro. Miss, uh, Miss Catherine will be your outro. You have two Catherines today and Andrea. How lucky for me. But I hope you all have a good time, get some water. This is gonna be a good one. So I, I am, I'm excited for you. Try hard, do good, and I'll see you so soon. I have my assistants, Jenea and Ari. They're going to be helping me out, so you can take a peek at them if you need to. But let's get started. Here we go. Awesome. So everybody just kind of take a seat on your knees. Sit down for a second. We're going to start off calm. Um, if you have taken my warm-up before, you'll know that there's a lot of positions that we hold. It can get really intense, and you can start to fatigue. But what I always say about warm-up is... I love making the warm up difficult and really focusing on the technique of your body so that when we start to dance, it's about telling stories and we don't have to worry about anything else. So if things do get intense, think about keeping the proper alignment of your body, simplifying things if you need to so that you're not sacrificing the technique for just holding something for a long time. So here we go. Just take your head, roll it to the right. Again. To the right, over to the left, again, to the left, really lengthen your neck, shoulders down and back, take your arm up, grab the left side of your head and reach it over, stretch that part of the, your neck that gives you headaches, the place we always hold our tension, and let it go. Roll it up, left arm. Stretch it out. Really find that stretch, that length right here in that space. Take it around. And up. Walk your hands out. Take your hands over so you're stretching out your wrists. You can sit back again into your hips. Sit back, stretch out those wrists. And forward. Take yourself up into a tabletop position. We're just going to do a little bit of cat-cow to get ourselves warm up. So you can drop down and contract through. Really push out of those shoulders. Find the deepest contraction as you can. Bring it up, leading with your head and your tailbone. I know that right here you're arching, but you're still thinking about lifting up in your stomach as well. So you never want your stomach to sag. And bring it back through into your contraction. One more. Shoulders down your back. And.
in through. Perfect. Bring it back to neutral. You're going to take your right hand out. You're going to stretch it underneath your body. You're going to put your um, shoulder onto the ground, and you're going to pull forward so that you really find that length and that expansion in your neck. We're really stretching that out. Perfect. You want to think about keeping those hips as square as possible as you do this as well. Lifting up in that stomach and lengthening through that neck. Bringing it back to neutral. And left arm up and through. Find space in that neck. So take that shoulder down and push it forward. Make sure you're breathing. Breathe into the tight spaces of your body. Put oxygen in those spaces so that you're actually helping it to relax and lengthen. Bring it back up. So now to start it out, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a plank challenge. We're going to dive into it. It is very intense. Um, but one thing, depending on what level you are, if you are more advanced, go for it. It's a full body workout. I want it to get your body warm immediately. If you are more advanced, follow along with me. If there are moments that you feel fatigued and you need to put your knees down, that's totally fine. You want to make sure that your shoulders are over your wrist at all times, that when you're doing this, you're thinking about your heart reaching forward. You don't want to have this contraction um, in your spine. You want to think about really rolling those shoulders down your back and reaching forward the whole time. So we're going to jump into this. I have a sequence. As we go along, feel free to take as many breaks as you need to. But for my other ones who feel like they can really dive into it, try to stay with me. OK, you guys ready? Here we go. Take your shoulders over your wrist and try to make sure if you have a mirror in front of you, I know there's a lot of times that when I am doing a plank position, sometimes my feet are a little bit crooked. My hips are a little bit crooked. So you want to make sure that your feet are maybe just a little bit inside of your hands and you can see them as you're looking into the mirror. Think about really lifting in that lower stomach and rolling those shoulders back. I also love to envision that there's a triangle in front of me as I'm looking down. So you have these two points. Your hands are the two sides of a triangle. And you want to look right to the tip of that triangle in front of you. So that keeps your head in line with your spine so that you're not breaking your neck down and you're also not looking up either. You're looking forward. So that gives you the line that you want to stay in. Keep breathing. And out. And out. Already sweating. How you guys doing? Good? Jenea? Just go on. <laughs> you want to make sure as well that your fingers are pointing forward. So you're in an L position with your fingers. You don't want them to be too far in or too far out. Really press forward. And you want to make sure that this little part of our hand, this little part in our hand, we can hold a lot of tension right here. So you want to make sure you're really pressing through those fingers and pressing through so that you're getting your full palm on the ground. There's moments that if we're too far back in our hands, our wrists start to hurt, and that should never happen in your plank. So you really want to push forward and find the weight throughout your entire hand, not just your um, heel of your hand. From here, we're going to rock it forward. So you're going to go forward over your toes and back. Two, three, four, five. Keep breathing. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Doing good. Thirteen. 14, 15, keep breathing, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, bring it in. From here, you're going to take your body over to the right side, so you're going to stack those hips. You want to make sure that your shoulder is over your wrist. You're still pushing through those hands. Notice the tension right here in between your fingers. You really want to press through. Your arm comes up so that it's in line with your wrist. And I'd like you to keep your head facing down for this time. 
We're here, make sure you square your hips. You don't want your hips to rock too far back or too far forward. So really stack that up. You can also do what Janae is doing. If you feel like stacking the hips is difficult for you, you can take this foot forward and that's fine. We're gonna go down for eight. So we go eight, up, seven, up, six, five, four, keep breathing, two, and one. Take it back to the center. Other side. Stack those hips. Keep breathing. Make sure those hips are square to the wall. Here we go for eight and up. Seven, really stretch that arm up. Don't let it be lazy. Up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, and one. Take it up, bring it back into your plank. Last thing, we're gonna squeeze the knees in. So you're thinking about really pulling these knees in to the lower part of your stomach. Right? As we're doing this, we're doing it for the lower abs, right? We're using the lower abs. So you really want to make sure that you're using the lower part of your stomach to really pull those knees in and you have that resistance the entire time. For 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push it back. We're halfway there. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Yeah? It's crazy what a plank can do. If I don't have much time to really warm up my body, I'll start with a plank and my whole body's sweating. <laughs> My whole body's warm really, really quickly. So that's one thing I love about them. Awesome, to your forearms. So place your forearms down. You can keep your forearms similar to the plank position we had before, um, where your arms are, your hands are spread apart, or you can clasp your hands together. That's fine too, as long as your shoulders are over your elbows. Perfect, and then where you should be looking is right where your hands are. Find that point. You really want to roll those shoulders back. Lift through that heart. Bring it forward. Keep breathing. Awesome. <sighs> Feel free to put your knees down if you have to. But if you don't need to, but you're kind of like, oh, it's burning, it's fatiguing, don't put them down unless you're actually um, risking doing the position wrong. From here, you're gonna bring your feet together. You're gonna rock your, rock your hips right and left as if you're trying to touch your pelvis bone onto the ground, but you don't actually touch. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, going to twenty. Twelve, how are you doing? Thirteen, you got it. Fourteen, I'm talking and doing it. You can do it. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Take it over to the right. Arms up. You're gonna take it down for eight. Bring it up. Seven. Yes, you should really feel this in your oblique, your side body. So as you do it, you wanna keep your hips in the same position. You don't want your hips to tilt at all. Two. And one. Bring your elbows down, so as if you're facing, as if you were in a plank before um, with your elbows, with your shoulders square, but you're gonna keep your body facing 
the left side, and you're just going to take it down for eight, seven, six, woo, obliques, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Again, take any breaks that you may need to. Stack those heels. Here we go for eight. Keep breathing. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those arms back to the regular plank. Keep your hips twisted to the right side. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back to center. Oh, did you make it? How you doing? Take those arms out, plie down, and pop it up into your push-up position, and take it back. Woo, we made it. Walk those feet out. So at this point, we're sweating. Our body should be really, really warm. Obviously, there's some places in our legs that we need to stretch and still dig into. But this is a really good base for a warm-up if you're trying to do it and do it quickly and feel very, very engaged to your center. So push your, back, your hips back, lift up in your stomach. You're going to walk your hands back to your feet. And just, just allow your body to hang. You can take your hands overhead and let all the gravity kind of just weigh you down. Or if you want to, you can even wrap your hands around. So your right arm goes around to the left leg. Your left arm goes around to the right leg. And you pull your chest towards your legs and your head towards the ground. Make sure you're really rolling those shoulders back the entire time. And breathing. <laughs> That's good, too. <laughs> Are you guys breathing? OK. Step forward. Hold it down. Release your hands. Take your hands out. You can take them underneath your feet. So just allow yourself to kind of step on your hands kind of massaging out your hands a little bit, but you're also um, stepping in your hands and trying to put the weight forward, so off of your heels into your hands. Take a moment and just fold forward. Straighten it back up. If you want, you can even try to um, relevate up into your hands. If you want to give it a shot, try to work on your center of gravity. Bring it up. Just give it a shot. And heels down. Release your hands. Heel toe your feet together. Bring it back. Sit into a chair position. So as if you're sitting back into a chair, you want your weight to now be in your heels. You're going to bring your hands up. And hold it here. You want to pretend as if you had a block in between your thighs or a piece of paper or something you didn't want to drop. You really want to squeeze those knees together. You want to lift up in that stomach the entire time and put your weight back into your heels. You should be able to see the tips of your toes when you look down past your knees. Lift up. Shoulders down your back. Keep breathing. Today I'm trying to show you guys a warm-up, do a warm-up with you guys that you're doing basic movements, but you are holding them longer. Um, so many times when we warm up, we just hit a position really fast, and we don't actually hold it. And it takes between 30 seconds to a minute to even feel the stretch and actually have any benefit through that. So we're holding positions longer, and I know it's difficult and you get fatigued, but I want you to really learn that when you when you experience a position for longer than a minute that's when you're actually growing in it and expanding in that stretch so that's kind of the goal today 
hands to your heart, twist over to the right side. Keep breathing. Arms up. Over to the left side. You really want to think about squaring your hips. This entire time, really pulling your heart forward as if you were in that plank position that we had earlier. Pulling that heart forward, finding that twist. Bring your hands back into the center. Take your right foot up and forward. Back into your lunge. Arms high. Bend that back knee a little bit just to find the square hips, um, the correct position of your body. Arms forward or arms straight. You can keep that knee bent if you need to, or you can push back into your lunge. You want to think about energy pulling back and forward. So it's coming out that knee, but it's also extending through the back. And hold it here. Keep breathing. Open it to the side. You really want to make sure that as you do this warrior two pose, that your left heel is in the center of your right leg. So when you look in the mirror, you'll be able to see that. You also want to make sure that this right hand is, is chased right behind um, your left arm so you can't see it when you look in the mirror. Take it over. Stretch out that quad. Bring your toe down and bring it back in to your chair pose. Last side, arms up, left knee in. Reach it out to the front and bring it down into your lunge, arms up high. Keep breathing. If you need to, bend that back leg. Find your square hips and then straighten once you get that position. And hold it here, lift up in your stomach. How are we doing, ladies? Are you good? Oh. Keep breathing. Breathe energy into the muscles that are burning and shaking. Breathe oxygen into those muscles. Turn it out. Line up your feet. Hips should be square to the side, as well as your shoulders. And then you can look forward. You want to plie as low as you can. You want to make sure that this thigh is parallel to the ground. So if you put a cup of water on it, it wouldn't fall off. It would stay exactly where you wanted it to be. Keep breathing. Take it over into your lunge. Knee down, stretch out that quad. your toes back. Bring them into your chair. Plie over your feet. Heels down. Over your feet. Hands to your heart. Squeeze those ankles together. Arms up. Stand it all the way up. Lower your heels. Shake out your hands, shake out your legs. <laughs> How do you feel? So here's a warm up for you guys that is not very long, but it's pretty intense. So this is something if you don't have too much time, but you need to get your body going to dive into and jump into you. And I, I hope. Okay, we're gonna go into a lunge series. 
Um, it's different than what we've done in class. I wanted to shake it up a little bit while you guys are at home. Um, so exciting, I know, and new lunges. So just follow along. Um, we will do this a bunch of times, so you'll start to get used to it, okay? You can start as we do in class with whichever leg you like. <clears throat> I'm gonna start over here. We're gonna step down into our lunge. Your hands are on the floor. Really try to lengthen your spine. The back of your back leg, you want to press it up into the ceiling and your um, supporting leg wants to be in a nice plie. Bend that leg. Long neck and make sure you're breathing. And exhale. And inhale. Now as we exhale, let's come up and stretch. Up. And hold it. Really stretch the backs of those legs. I'm a little crooked right now. There we go. And make sure you're breathing, breathe. Long arms, long necks. And whoa, down into our lunge. Really think about all the energy in your legs. Is your leg nice and straight? Are you looking down the floor? Is your neck long? Now from here, we're gonna come up. Arms out. And first position, hold it. Breathe, and reach up, and down to that leg, and come up straight, and reach long, reach that leg nice and long, nice plie, we're going to come up again, reach your arms out. First position, belly button in, woo, and reach up, inhale, and down, and stretch back. up here reach up and now fifth position now we're gonna reach back down to our leg we're gonna keep our arms in fifth position over over really keep those arms in fifth position try to balance lock those legs good hands back down the floor plie your back leg nice plie and straighten and back down to our lunge. Both hands down. Woo, I need to put my hair up. Back down into that lunge. And we're gonna put our back knee down on the floor. And you're gonna reach back and grab that foot. Grab it, grip. And hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Big shout out to Maggie Skip for making our channel banner. She made our virtual classroom graphic. Very nice of her. Love you, Maggie. Arm up here and back up into that lunge. Now back up to straight arm. Straight arms up. High fifth. And over down to your leg. Keep those legs nice and locked. Hands back to the floor and hold it. Now we're going to elevate our back leg and hold it. Drop that heel. 
Inhale, we're gonna come up. Arms up, we're gonna put all together. Arms up, high fifth, down to the floor. Keep those arms in high fifth. Now we're not touching the floor, arms are in high fifth. Can you elevate your back leg? Whoop. Can I do it? If you wanna get to here. Arms in high fifth. And down, release. Down to your lunge. Good. And put your back knee down, but we're just gonna rest just here. See how I'm like here. Now you're gonna put your hands on your front knee and you're gonna plie forward. Plie forward, you should feel a stretch right, I'm not facing the correct way towards the camera, but towards your off with your back leg. Really sink in there. Arms out. Really stretch. And arms up to high fifth. Get those ribs in. And arms out. Good. Now from here, we're going to slide down into our split. My front foot is so cramped. Point those feet. And hold it nice up and tall. Nice up and tall. Hold it tall. Nicely up and tall. Stretch over to a do leg. And now stretch, arch back. Good, and center, arms out. Arms up. And arms down, relax. Good job. Whew. Now, I'm gonna insert a clip of that whole thing again. You're gonna repeat it with the opposite leg. Cool? Cool. But don't repeat it again, just repeat it once, once on each side. Over here, we're gonna step down into our lunge. Your hands are on the floor, really try to lengthen your spine. The back of your back leg, you wanna press it up into the ceiling and your um, supporting leg wants to be in a nice plie, bend that leg, long neck, and make sure you're breathing. And exhale, and inhale. Now as we exhale, let's come up and stretch. Up, and hold it. Really stretch the backs of those legs. I'm a little crooked right now, there we go. And make sure you're breathing, breathe. Long arms, long necks, and whoa, down into our lunge. Really think about all the energy in your legs. Is your leg nice and straight? Are you looking down the floor? Is your neck long? Now from here, we're gonna come up. Arms out. And first position, hold it. Breathe. And reach up. And down to that leg. And come up straight. And reach long. Reach that leg nice and long, nice plie. We're gonna come up again, reach your arms out. First position, belly button in, woo! And reach up, inhale and down. And stretch back. And plie our back leg a little bit. And straighten it. And back down into our lunge. And first position arms. We did for the second this time. And up. And down. Now, I want you to turn your supporting leg out. Hands down on the floor, elbows down. And hold it. Nice long spine. Good. Hands down. And straight up. And hold it. Good, nice long legs. Now we're gonna sit up. So our hands are gonna come straight up. Our legs are still straight. 
arms of fur. Hi, Fifth. I'm crooked, let me face you. So we're, our legs are nice and straight. I'll face the corner. Legs are nice and straight. We're reaching up here. Reach up. And now fifth position. Now we're gonna reach back down to our leg. We're gonna keep our arms in fifth position. Over, over. Really keep those arms in fifth position. Try to balance, lock those legs. Good. Hands back down the floor. Plie your back leg, nice plie. And straighten, and back down to our lunge. Both hands down, woo, I need to put my hair up. Back down into that lunge. And we're gonna put our back knee down on the floor. And you're gonna reach back and grab that foot, grab it, grip, and hold it. Hold, 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 hold. Big shout out to Maggie Skit for making our channel banner. She made our virtual classroom graphic. Very nice of her. Love you, Maggie. Arm up here and back up into that lunge. Now back up to straight arms, straight arms up. High fifth and over down to your leg. Keep those legs nice and locked, hands back to the floor and hold it. Now we're gonna elevate our back leg and hold it. Drop that heel. Now we're gonna come up, arms up. We're gonna put it all together, arms up. High fifth, down to the floor. Keep those arms in high fifth. Now we're not touching the floor, arms are in high fifth. Can you elevate your back leg? Whoop, can I do it? If you wanna get to here. Arms in high fifth, and down, release. Down to your lunge. Good. And put your back knee down, but we're just gonna rest just here. See how I'm like here. Now you're gonna put your hands on your front knee and you're gonna plie forward. Plie forward. You should feel a stretch right. I'm not facing the correct way towards the camera, but towards your off of your back leg. Really sink in there. Arms out. Really stretch, and arms up to high fifth. Get those ribs in, and arms out. Good, now from here, we're gonna slide down to our split. My front foot is so cramped, point those feet. And hold it nice up and tall, nice up and tall. Hold it tall, nicely up and tall. Stretch over towards your leg. And now stretch, arch back. Good, and center, arms out. Arms up. And arms down, relax. Good job. Whew. Now, I'm gonna insert a clip of that whole thing again. You're gonna repeat it with the opposite leg. Cool. muscles because to improve flexibility you have to stretch with when your muscles are warm if you stretch cold muscles you're going to rip them instead of lengthen and increase your flexibility now I'm already warm I just taught one of my classes online which if you are interested I will link below um, so again do this after class do it after a workout um, but I think it will really help you so the first thing you want to do you've taken class you've worked out you just want to let your body release for a little bit so stretch up Grab onto one wrist, bend toward the opposite side, letting the whole side release. Just letting it go. You can hold this as long as you like, but I'm just going to kind of take you through it. And then you'll come up, bend toward the other side. Good. If you've already done a workout and you're ready to follow along, you can. You can follow along with me. Good. And release it. Roll the shoulders. Now we're going to stretch the neck because a lot of people don't realize how tight their neck gets. So just roll the head over to one side, flexing the opposite hand. And you should really feel the neck, especially in ballet class, when you're turning, you're jumping, you get really tense. And then maybe just look towards the floor. Good, and then we go to the other side. Just letting it release, flexing the opposite hand. 
and maybe look towards the floor. Good. Again, you're already warm, so you're just letting your body cool down. So now we're going to come down to the floor, and you're just going to elbow this way, lie back, and we're just going to stretch the hamstrings. So you bring one leg in, walk, rock it around a little bit, letting the hip flexor go, that's really important, and stretch it up. Now, when you're stretching like this, try to keep the hips as square as possible. You want to be out here, you don't want to be around here, you know what I mean? You want to keep both hips flat and square, and that's how you get into the hamstring. So we just pull on the leg, letting it release, and then you push into the arms with the leg, really, really hard, pull, push with the hamstrings, and release it. Should go a little bit farther. Then we do that again. Push into the hands with the hamstrings and release. Maybe one more time. If you watch my warm-up video, we do that at the bar. Just as a trick for the hamstrings. And then we just release it and we stretch. You can flex the foot if you like. The key to stretching is you need to hold something at least 15 to 20 seconds. Doing it and then switching automatically is not really going to do anything for you. Um, your muscles are already warm, I can't say that enough, and so then when you pull the stretch, that's how they release. So maybe open it out to the side just a little bit, again, keeping the hip flat, I'm not opening up, just keeping it flat. Cross the body a little bit to get into the outer hip, not all the way, just across. Good. And then what I'm going to do, when you've done that, bend the knee and twist, just letting the back go. Maybe look the other way. We did this, I did this in the warm-up routine as well, uh, but it's also good to do it at the end of class to release the spine. So then after that, obviously we have to do the other side. So again, you bring the leg in, you rock it around. You can even put your thumb on the hip flexor to kind of let it release a little bit. And stretch it up. Relaxing. You're going to have one side that's tighter than the other, I promise you that. And then I push into my hands. Feeling the hamstrings and release it. And push and release. Good, and push and release it. And just let it stretch. Again, the more you can keep the hips square, the more you're going to get a benefit out of this. Just let it go. And then maybe open out to the side again, keeping the opposite hip flat or across the body. Again, this is entirely up to you, just what you need. But I would really hold this one after the pushes about 15 to 20 seconds for sure. Good. And then we release it. Hug both knees into the chest. Good. We're going to get into the outer hips now. So first leg, foot comes to the knee. You've probably all seen this one. And you pull it in. Now you can either stay like this with the hands behind the hamstring, or grab all of your legs, bringing them in. I prefer this, hugging my legs in. Now the trick to this one is not to roll up. You want to really release your back, almost think of straightening your back and your hips go this way. That's how you really feel the stretch, lengthening out the back rather than rolling up. So we just, again, we hold, release, And once you've done that, other side. Again, I'm not really doing the full 15 seconds. This is just to show you all. Again, I'm not rolling up. I'm lengthening my back up, and I guarantee you will feel it so much more rather than just being here. I'm actively lengthening my spine out, and I'm really feeling it in the outer hip. So once you have enough fun with that one, again, I'm just going through this. Inner thigh, split stretch, opening it out to the sides as far as you can. Now, you can do that up against the wall if you like. For more strength, I gotta move because I'm hitting the wall. Um, but I like just doing it on the floor. And again, instead of being up here, rolling my back straight, hips that way. That's more of a normal split. This is not. That's how you really get into the deep inner thighs, is rolling out the back. Keeping it straight, almost, and I hesitate to say this, almost arching your back, 
but that's the feeling you want. Don't actually arch, but you want to lengthen it. And you'll feel it in here. Again, you can use the wall if you like. Um, I just think this is enough for me. Um, so again, hold this 15, 20 seconds or so. Maybe with this one you want to hold it 30, um, just to let it release. And you don't actually have to count, you know, 15, 40, you know what I mean? But it's not about just doing it and getting out of it and going to the next thing. So then once you're done, rock up to sitting. And now we're going to do what I call the cow work. In yoga, it's called the cow. Both knees together and just bend forward. You'll feel it in the outer hip. Now the trick to this one, a lot of people tend to do this and they round. You really want to lengthen the back when you're stretching, really with any stretch. Because the more you lengthen, the more you're going to honestly get into the deep muscles. Rounding your back, I don't feel it. I'm lengthening my back out. If you can't do this yet, you can do like foot to the hip, knee to the foot, and go forward. That's perfectly fine. Um, but really try and get it here. It's really important for dancers to really stretch out their hips. I really emphasize that in all of my classes because this is your turnout, this is your jump. But also, if you're really, really tight, it's going to be impossible to do some things. And it's so important, you will not get the range of motion, you will not be able to get your leg up. It's really about opening up the hips. So switch sides. And just lengthen out the back again. I'm not going to go down here, because this, I don't, I don't really feel it. I feel it more being up straight, lengthening out my back. Um, so play around with it, try and figure out where you're tight. Um, and if you find a really, really tight spot, think of breathing right into that spot. Um, to just, it actually, it might be just a mental trick, but it helps with release. So just lengthen. And once you're done with that, go back to the first side. And we're going to do a spinal twist. So sitting up tall and twist the opposite direction. Again, getting back into the spine. Again, more outer hip opening here as well. I told my students this today. There is a little bit of a trick. You tell yourself, go as far as you can. I'm going absolutely as far as I can. And then you release, and then you say, okay, go farther. And you should be able to. It's a really funny mental trick, um, but that's how you can really get benefits of the stretch. You do it, you release it, and then you say, okay, go farther. And then you should be able to go farther. And then we switch sides, obviously. If this is not your cup of tea, you can straighten the leg out if you feel you can get a better twist. I like keeping it bent. Um, just lengthening it out really, really good to keep the spine supple are these twists. And then we release it. Legs come out in front. This is another classic one. Up and down and stretch. The key to this, again, not here. Lengthen the back up and then go forward. That's how you really get into the hamstrings. And you can just stay like this. You can grab onto the feet maybe. You know, this is the perfect time to do this one. If you like right here, you can add, if you're a dancer you really want to do it, you can add the middle split stretch. Um, you don't have to. Being on the back, opening up the legs is perfectly fine, it's enough. Um, but again, if you want to add it after the hamstrings, that's fine. This is when I do middle splits, um, not ever before class. Um, and you can just rock forward and back. I don't really know about this kind of thing. For me, it doesn't do much. I just like to kind of stretch it out, maybe roll forward, you know. But this point being, this is when in the period of the of the stretch that you do your middle splits, um, just to let them happen. So 
So once you've done that, now we're going to do some sort of lungy stretches for the hip flexors. So we come up to all fours. You probably all have seen this before. One foot comes forward and you stretch. Key here, you roll off the kneecap. So it's almost like lift and go forward off the kneecap so it doesn't hurt. Square off the hips. This doesn't do anything. You square off the hips. And I'm really feeling this in my hip flexor. Make sure your knee is directly over the foot, not past. So we're stretching like this. Really getting into the hip flexor. If you like, you can come back, put the weight back. I don't particularly like this. I think it's kind of dangerous. So I will just stay forward and stretch. You don't really need to move around a lot here. This is just about being in this position and letting it, letting it stretch. Once you feel like you've gotten a good hip flexor stretch, this is a bit of a challenge. Bend that leg grabbing on with the opposite hand to stretch out the quad. This might be really incredibly painfully hard, so don't do it until you have worked up to it. Um, maybe even just try and bend it without grabbing. But if you can grab it, bend it in. Again, never, ever, ever do this before class. Really dangerous. Really, really dangerous. So then we go back and stretch out the hamstring again. Flexing the foot. I'm lengthening out my back. I'm not rounding. I'm lengthening. And I even like to turn out my foot a little bit so I feel the hamstrings a little more. This doesn't do it for me. This does. Lengthening out the back as much as you can. So then when you're ready, slide out into your split. This is when you do your split in, in your warm-up. I mean, in your stretching routine. Um, when you're doing split, make sure you're not opening out. This doesn't do anything. You really want to square it off, hip rolls to the floor, and you're really stretching the hip flexors. Splits are hip flexors and hamstrings. So if you have one, if your hip, if your hip flexors are tight, you're, you're not going to be able to go down. Um, if your hamstring, you can't get the leg up. So that's why you have to work both. So then, obviously, we do the other side. Foot comes forward. I roll off the kneecap. My uh, knee is in line with my foot. I'm squaring off the hips. I'm not open. I'm squaring off the hips. And I just hold it, pressing the hip forward into the hip flexor. Once you've held that for a while, bend the knee in for the quad stretch. I'm just going to go through this quickly. So we do the quad stretch for a while. Hamstring, stretching back. Back is lengthening out. I turn out the foot a little bit to get deeper into the hamstring. And then when I'm ready, I go out to a split. Okay? So we come back, and this is a very important stretch, especially for dancers, because we don't realize how tight our feet are. So we come to a crouch position. And I don't know if you can see my feet, but what's going to happen is you're going to roll forward onto your toes. Not too far, but just until you feel the stretch in the arch and in the toes. Letting the head hang long. I'm telling you, at first doing the stretch, it's excruciatingly painful. But once you really start to do it after a couple of days, your feet will start to open up. Um, this is, it's for your toes and for your arches. So you stay here a bit. See, I'm rolling forward. I'm not in the middle. I'm slightly forward. And then I'm going to move back towards the heels to stretch out my Achilles. Whole time, head is down. Um, but I'm now the weight. I should be able to lift my hands off the floor. That's just how you get into your Achilles. And then I'm going to push up. Once you're done with that, you can kind of Go back and forth until you're ready. Push up, hamstring stretch, just letting it release. And then I like going to downward dog, yoga pose, for my calves, and just bend one knee, and then switch, just holding it for a second, and then switch it. 
Just going back and forth as much as you like, as long as you like. See, that really gets into the calves. You can even bend both feet again to get into that Achilles, if you like. Big, big stretch. And then when you're ready, walk your hands in and the feet in and roll it up. Now, if that's fine for you, you can end there. But this is where you can do the one where you grab your leg, you go over to ponche, that kind of thing. Um, you can also do the standing ponche one where you just planche and then you just stretch. Um, or heel in the hand, this one. This is when you do that. You're warmed up enough, you're stretched enough. You can do those and then you're done.